All right, so the camera cut off, so let me start over. Um, we're actually gonna start with one of the latest purchases though. So, yep, that's gonna be the one right there. Doug Ritter, RSK, MK1 Jade. So, and then I've got a, a little one here somewhere. That's not it. I really like these pouches that it comes with. Um, so the hogs are made in the US, but the pouch is made in Mexico. So I wish the uh, I wish the pouch itself was made in the US as well, but it, it is a really nice pouch. Um, so here's the uh, here's the two newest to the collection. Let me find this should be the other. I keep these in here. I don't know. Good idea, bad idea. I leave them in there though. All right, so these were the first purchases I made and then I um, hog knives. And then after that, because I like these so much, I purchased several more. So we'll go in order. These are the first ones. I got some more and then I, these are the last ones. So we'll come back to that. Uh, let's go here. So I ordered this because it matches uh, two pistols I have. So I don't love this knife. Um, I like it, but I don't love it. Uh, it's a little bit hard to open. The handle's a little slick. So I did a video on it. I'm gonna touch it up there. I'm gonna rough up this handle here and then I'll probably put a thumb stud on there. And then um, I've ordered an automatic, which might alleviate a lot of my problems with it. Uh, so we'll see when that automatic comes. It should have been here a long time ago. Um, then, oh, not, not that one yet. Since I like these so much, and then I kind of like that one, I went ahead and I thought I would try um, some button locks from Hogue. So I bought this EX-01 three and a half inch blade, uh, G10, G Mascus, kind of similar to what they do here. So it's kind of nice. It's got a nice little pattern to it. Um, I do like the, uh, the button lock on it's nice, pretty strong. Okay. I hate that, but <laughs> we'll get to that some more. Um, so we'll talk about that in a minute. So that was the next one I ordered. And then I just kind of had my eye on some more EXO1s. And then this one, uh, a price dropped on it. I don't know if it was a uh, a misprice or what, but I got it for less than 150. And the first bug out I bought was 150. So this knife for less than 150, you know, I felt like was a steal. So it's not broken as much, it's pretty much brand new. This one I've flipped a few hundred times. Never used it, but just flipped it watching TV, breaking it in. So this one's a lot smoother. Um, eventually I disassemble every knife and tune it up. Eventually I'll do that. Uh, but I mean, that's still pretty, pretty smooth out of the box. And then another one I kind of had my eye on and then I saw the price drop on it was the, uh, the four inch aluminum. Um, honestly, I, I don't love this knife though. It's, it's a little too big and heavy and I don't like aluminum, but it was cheap. I don't remember the price. I'll double check. I'll post it on the website, but I got it cheap. So if nothing else, I can resell it for what I paid, maybe a little bit more, or I can give it away as a gift. Uh, so the aluminum is uh, cheaper than the G Mascus um, G10, but I can see why. I like the construction builds a little different. Um, And I, I really like this one a lot better, so. so. There's a big difference, just that, it's amazing that half an inch on the, the blade. I mean, just look at the handle, just the difference in handle length. I mean, that's a lot. Um, that does fit my hand pretty good, whereas, um, this one's actually a little small for my hand. It just a little bit. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to uh, reform this a little bit and move my finger up just a tiny bit and probably put a small um, indentation right there for my pinky. So I think maybe this is designed like that to be choked up on or maybe it's designed, it fits perfect right here. I mean, that's just perfect. 
However, I, I don't do this very often, so I, I don't really need my um, my knife for that. Uh, I have the counterpart to this if if I felt like something that like that was necessary. So, yeah, it's it's not very often that I that I do this. I would say on never. Uh, so in any event, uh, I, I do want to reform that a little bit and move that up. And then do that and then i'll just kind of compare it so it, it'll be something to play with when i disassemble this uh so this this one's a little too small this one's almost just a a little too big now having said that as much as i like this even though it doesn't fit perfect that's what that's how i know this is such a good this one just feels great um the shape of it the fit at just everything so it's a real it's a real nice fit. Um, the texture's got a lot of grip to it. If, if you don't want that much grip, I mean, that's the one thing I will say is the texture is aggressive. The, um, the edge of the thumb studs a little bit aggressive. Same thing with the, uh, the crossbar. But you can knock that down with some sandpaper. If this was going in some nice uh, pants, I would probably have to knock that down up under there. Uh, cause that'll probably shred, that'll probably shred your pants. I usually reform all my pocket clips anyway, and I, I bend them out a, a tiny bit. I don't need them, uh, so tight. So, um, and I may do that just as an experiment, sand one of these down to see how much better I like it. Uh, but that, that is some good, that's some good grip there as opposed to this one, which is just too slick, you know, too grippy here, too slick here. So I need something in between those two. Um, but in any event, it all started with, uh, I might have ordered this one first, but received this one. I don't remember. But as soon as I got this, I really liked Hogue. Um, they got a good warranty. They're made in the U.S. So I just went ahead and ordered a few more. I've still got some coming in the mail, eventually some autos and whatnot. But I thought I'd, uh, I really just kind of wanted to get a video of these up because when I saw them on the website, I was kind of looking for some video to get a better look to see if I really wanted them. And I didn't see any, no, nothing anywhere. Uh, so, you know what? So I just noticed the, the mini, it's a little more aggressive on the thumb stud. Like that's a little smoother. Uh, but that, I don't know if the, if I can pick that up with the camera, that's a little aggressive. I may even try to sand that down a little bit. Uh, that's kind of aggressive sometimes. Sometimes I'll just put little uh, caps on them if I'm wearing gloves or whatnot, and I, I just need some good, some good grip. Uh, a little rubber cap really makes it uh, stick out a little further and have some grip. Plus, if it's really sharp, you know that might be the trick. But I think I'll take a little sandpaper. So that is one, yeah, because both of them on the minis, yeah, that's pretty aggressive. Uh, that's much better right there. So as you can, I'm gonna try to see if the camera will pick that up, but they're they're a little different. Yeah, yeah, I like that one a lot better. So maybe I could even replace that with with one of those. That'd be, you know, sometimes if your time's valuable, um, the time to try to sand it down, it might be better just to buy something. And then, ah. Uh, I think I mentioned this in the video that uh, my camera shut off. But uh, one big difference in these is they're blacked out, um, the jades. So your crossbar lock, your hardware, and your clip is all blacked out. So I know most people prefer that, but I, I really don't. I, I don't like anything. Uh, I like satin. Like I have a heavy, heavy preference towards... Uh, Satin clip, satin hardware, crossbar, everything. So that might, that and then me not absolutely loving this jade, I may, I may sell these, who knows? Don't know, but that is something to kind of note. So if you do like them blacked out, this might be the one, or you can um, mix and match, you know, if you like doing Frankenstein. Mod. Yeah, so even the stop pin, yeah, I see the access bar blacked out, so it's already starting to rub off. I don't, 
I don't I don't like any of that. A lot of times when I tune one up, I I take 3000 grit to the uh the pivot pin just to get all that crap off of there. I don't it's just going to it's just going to gum up. So I'd rather no paint, no blacking, none of that. So All right. Well, that's a little quick look um at these and eventually I'll post videos on uh modifications and tuning them up but i got to get some other some other projects done first i've got some elevator stuff to do a few more tutorials behind schedule on then i'll pivot over once that stuff's done i'll pivot over to knives until i get bored with that i'll be into that for six months and then move on to something else